Hi and welcome to my channel. Today the P1P from Bamboo Lab was delivered and it is time to get it out of the box. My son really likes those air-filled hot dogs, so let's save that for him. Now let's get the plastic off and let's see what's inside. Let's put the box with spare parts and filament to the side, we'll get to that later. I almost forgot the foam in the poop chute. Be careful while snipping those tie rips. Uh, there are two tie rips and you can't pull them out on one side so snip them at both sides. Now it's time to open up the extra box and let's see what's inside. There's some extra filament, white like everybody else. It's the front screen. A tray with all the screws, hex keys and spare parts. And the power cord, European in my case. Let's put on the spool holder, first remove the screw. Then get the spool holder and according screws and put it on. The location of the spool holder uh, could be better. It's in the back, so if you face your printer to the wall, uh, make sure you got enough room to get your spool on. Next we're going to put up the filament guide. Uh, one of my screws went in real easy and the other one I had to use a bit more force to get it sit properly. I think I'm going to adjust this, uh, same as the spool holder location, but that will be in a future video. 
This is also the part where some of my friends came in, so I'll put in some background music now to get rid of the awkward silence. PTFE tube and check if it's secured. Do this on both sides and make sure the cable is nicely seated. The connection cable for the front screen can only fit one way. Make sure you press it real good, tightly and then snap the screen into place. Now it's time to get screws out that hold the bed down. Now you get reminded of this a lot. It's in the manual, it's on the screen, it's everywhere. see what I meant with the position of the spool holder make sure you got enough room to the wall otherwise you can't fit your spool on make sure you push your filament all the way in for the setup it's pretty straightforward it's just like setting up a pro here you get reminded of the screws in the bed again after choosing your region, you can add it to the app or do this later. Uh, it's useful because you can communicate through Wi-Fi through it and you don't have to put everything on your SD card. When you start self-test, it's the first time you get amazed by this machine. It's gonna vibrate calibrate everything just like a pre-flight test. When the self-test is done, you get a smiley face. Enjoy printing. After you install the new firmware, of course. After the setup was done, it is time to see what this printer is capable of. I started with the housing for the LEDs, the stand for the auxiliary fan and some designs of my own. One review I saw, uh, someone mentioned that the fit of the housing of the LED lights were too tight and 
he would break them all. I had no problems with that and it's really good. After two days of printing I only had one print failed. That was due to the model not being on the print plate properly. The rest is all really nice. My overall impression of this printer is really good. I would just like to see a load option in the menu next to the unload option. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.